it's another beautiful winter's day and we're heading back out with Dan and Hannah Mann from Australia. inside your foot pockets so they don't sink when uh, they fall over the side. Somebody kicks them off the line. Is that the only reason it didn't sink? I think so, yeah. Oh. First thing spotted on this dive was a small turtle right up in the shallows. The visibility was good, but there was quite a bit of swell, which made it difficult up in the shallows for hunting snapper. But all the signs were there, there was plenty of bait fish. I do my best to move with the swells rather than fight with them. Soon enough, I get lucky finding a couple parked up in a gutter. I continue on for a short period but I need to swim back to the boat soon to pick the others up. Even though not inundated with good fish, it was beautiful diving with this great visibility and plenty of bait fish to look at. Back to the boat for a quick debrief with the others and see how they got on. At least we got some fish on the boat. Then we were off to our next spot to see what we could find. This time looking for a bit more current, hoping for some pelagic fish as well as more snapper. The signs were there with all the demoiselles and the kohiru swimming around.
If I wasn't going to find a big predator, the kohiru would make some great raw fish anyway. While gutting the kohiru, if you look underneath me, there's these small yellow striped fish that almost look like trumpeter, but they're mado, a really good sign that you're in a good spot. This was quite unusual behavior than feeding up in mid water. Below the Mado, there were lots and lots of fish. I awkwardly shoot from my hip and miss the snapper. A common mistake. Mm -hmm. I head back down to try again, but the demoiselles block my view and completely engulf me. Even though there's plenty of good signs here, I think it's time to move as we haven't seen anything good. Me and Dan try one last ditch effort. We head out on a weed edge in hopes of finding a John Dory, a Kingfish or the likes.
there wasn't a huge amount going on here either. So it's time to shoot a couple more small fish. Each time I'd shoot a small fish on the spot, I would gut and gill it and drop the guts and gills just in case something was passing through. It was time to take this butterfish, as they make great eating also. I gut and gill the butterfish to try and create some commotion and drop it down to the bottom. It sounded like the girls were having more fun in the boat than me and Dan were in the water. With there not being too much current or tide, there wasn't a lot going on. Off to my right, there are some small snapper and small trevally feeding on the butterfish guts on the bottom. I'm sort of tempted, but they're a bit marginal size. Checking behind me, a small kingfish starts coming in, but too small to spare. Then finally a bit of luck. This kingfish presented the perfect shot. And kingfish during winter time make fantastic eating. With it getting late in the afternoon, it was time to head home. A lucky end to the day. Was it one or many? Huh? One or many? Oh, small Give me that. Yay, well done. 
Yummy. Oh. So did Dan dive down to shoot another one or did he sh dive down to second shot that one? No, no, I told him to dive on the point gauge. Yeah, just, just, you know, all these little heads and like that. Okay, you two, can you yeah, get more cuddly because it looks a bit weird when there's a... Not that cuddly, but 